it's taken me many years to be able to even talk about this in some objective way with some kind of distance. So I'm going to pull this over a little bit and talk about my son's death as a murder-suicide. At the time that this happened, I, I had no knowledge about suicide at all and about um, the, the frequency of murder-suicides and, and what it does to, a, to the family members of the perpetrator. I was incredibly confused. But in addition to your grief and loss to your loved one, who has taken his own life, he's taken the lives of other people. With that comes an incredible, helpless agony that you can't give these people back. You can't do anything to fix this situation and to atone for it or to say the right words or to say I'm sorry in the right way so that they feel better. It's a completely helpless feeling. And on top of that helplessness and anguish is a feeling of sincere and deep humiliation and shame and self-loathing and embarrassment and, and then fear on top of all this, knowing that we are so hated and seeing the violent actions by some in the community and trees chopped down and crosses chopped down, we feared for our safety. So I became very paranoid. So it was a very complex series of um, feelings. And, you know, you have to work very hard not to lose contact with that grief because that's one of the most important components of your being able to heal. 